Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite back exercises, the barbell row. Now, even when I was going to a normal gym and not really working out at home, I still incorporated some barbell rowing, but I feel like I probably did more machine work and like more like cable rows and stuff like that than barbell rowing. But honestly, I think that barbell rows are probably one of the best things and one of my favorite things for my back. It's a, it's a big compound movement. You can see that I do put a little bit of body English into it. I'm not really making it like a super strict isolation movement. I'm, I'm using my legs a little bit. I'm allowing it to, to get up into my traps a little bit and making it kind of just, I don't know, like a, like a full body style thing. And I'm not really strong at the barbell row, but I've also noticed that just taking a look at my physique back in 2015 when we won the Muscle Beach Men's Physique Championship, I was definitely aware that my back was going to need improvement. So during like the two year bulk after that, I've been putting in a lot of work in my back and I feel like I've seen some improvement, but I think if my back has grown, I would have to give that credit to two exercises really, which is one, the barbell row and two, rack pulling. And I have done a lot of rack pulls recently. A lot of inspiration comes from a guy named Alpha Destiny on YouTube. You guys should check him out. Um, but rack pulls have been a lot of fun. I feel like they've helped me grow my traps but also just my back in general, like the back thickness really, just requiring all of your support muscle to hold up the heavy weight of a rack pull. And then of course, putting it to work with a little bit of a stretch and squeeze action on the barbell row. And of course, I also have been doing a lot of pull-ups. I think those are my three main sort of back exercises that I've been doing from the home gym. And of course, you can see all this stuff if you guys tune into the, the gym stream. I do a gym stream pretty much every day at twitch.tv slash Bajira. Usually that starts somewhere around uh, 10 a.m. PST, sometimes earlier, sometimes a little bit later. But anyway, uh, the main three things I've been doing for my back are pull-ups, barbell row, and rack pulls. And those have been really, really fun for me. You're kind of like resisting weight in a couple different planes of movement. But this particular barbell row that I'm doing, I feel like I'm standing a little bit more upright. Uh, I'm allowing, you know, a little bit of body English, you know, a little bit of like legs to get into there. And I'm pulling the bar, um, pretty much into my lower stomach. You can do like a higher pull, you can do a pull off the ground, you can do all kinds of different stuff, and I encourage you to get some, some relatively lightweight, if you're interested in trying to do uh, barbell rows, is get some relatively lightweight and experiment with those factors, right? Experiment to where you're pulling the bar, whether you're pulling it closer to your chest, the middle of your stomach, the lower stomach, as I'm doing right here, you know, experiment with being very very strict with your form and making sure that there's really not a whole lot moving besides just the bar and your back and your arms or you can try to pulling off the ground some people do that as well there's a lot of different ways to perform a movement like this and they all have different sort of advantages and different sort of ways in which it it works your back and your upper back especially but for me you know the barbell rows for today have been a little bit of a higher angle a little bit of body english and pulling right into my lower stomach basically and I feel like uh, we've been doing pretty well, as I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but we've been dieting just a little bit. Uh, we're progressing through the mini cut. I feel like I've been dieting for probably like three months, but maybe four. I feel like maybe the fourth month, or that first month, I'm just kind of preparing to diet. I do that a lot. And the goal here is just to lean out just a little bit, because I do want to compete again next year. And so I think that my plan is to diet down a little bit now, do a lean bulk, and then do an actual competition cut. But I feel like the more dieting that I do now, as long as it's not too insane, which it's not, uh, 2,500 calories a day feels very good to me. It feels like I have plenty of energy to train and I just lose, you know, maybe like a pound of body fat a week. Uh, but the goal there is to basically do a portion of the competition diet now and stay relatively low body fat throughout the bulk. So it's easier to get down into that very, very lean competition shape later on while also maintaining, you know, some of the muscle, hopefully most of the muscle that we've put on during our two-year bulk since we last competed. So that's my plan, and so far so good, really. I've been having a lot of fun with my training. It's been a blast doing the gym streams. You know, very, very grateful once again to bodybuilding.com for partnering up. If you guys have seen the intro, you know, we are now sponsored by bodybuilding.com, which means that you can use the bodybuilding.com slash Bajira link, as well as the Bajira 10 promo code uh, to get 10% off on everything that you order from bodybuilding.com every time, as long as you use the link and the code together. So you may as well make your uh, your bookmark for bodybuilding.com, bodybuilding.com slash Bajira, and then just remember, remember the promo code, and you are good to go. Plus, the landing page has the promo code on it as well, and you can always find it on Twitter, 
on YouTube and on my Twitch channel as well. Which reminds me, now we're talking about social media, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more on Instagram. So I feel like Instagram is definitely like a cool platform for sharing stuff with people. I think the little Instagram stories could be a lot of fun. So I'm probably gonna try to work on doing some more Instagram stuff as well. Just as a side note, as you guys know, these gym videos often become just sort of, hey, here's what's on my mind kind of things, but that's part of the fun. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, that's Bajira Wow as well. But all that stuff is always in the description for you guys on the YouTube videos as well. But just to get back to the back training a little bit, I feel like, um, for me, I've done the kind of slow and controlled style before for trying to train my back. And I think there's value to it, but I think that what's actually been helping me the most in terms of getting my back to grow a little bit is the heavy stuff. Now, I'm not doing things that are so heavy that my form is breaking to a point where it's going to injure me or anything like that, but... I feel like, like I mentioned before in the video, um, heavy rack pulls have been huge for me. I think heavy rows have been and will continue to be good for me because my, my rows aren't even that heavy and I feel like I can put a lot more uh, a lot more strength on my rows, especially as we start bulking again and I have a little bit more food energy to work with. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And I think that we have kind of a plan laid out for how to uh, progress the muscle groups that need to need to get better before I compete. So I think, I think it's fairly obvious, but my upper, my upper chest, my back, my upper back, and my shoulders and arms all need a lot of work. Um, and that's gonna be a big uh, area of focus for the six to eight month bulk that I'm doing. I'm still gonna be training legs hard because I can't really help myself. You know, squats, especially in deadlifts, are you know just a pretty damn good pace setter for the whole rest of the week of training. If I get a really solid leg day in, whether it's squats or deadlifts, I tend to have really good momentum for the rest of the week of training, and I call it the week of training, even though my my split, we talked about this in an earlier video, is pretty much like a four or five day thing, where as long as I'm training legs every four days or so, I tend to stay uh, feeling pretty darn good, and I feel like that, that positive momentum is a big thing for me, and I feel like if we can continue that momentum and continue to address my weak points over the bulk, we're definitely going to be in probably the best shape that we've ever been in, I would hope. <laughs> For, uh, when we try to compete again in uh, 2018 so just wanted to make a quick video about the barbell row I'm not an expert on it but it is a lot of fun and if you guys haven't incorporated it into your training and you're trying to get some back development definitely recommend that you give it a try there's a ton of different ones to try keep that in mind but pick out the ones that you like see how it feels and make you some gains thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy the gym videos and see you guys next time peace